physics challenge four alternate current we have a circuit c1 and c2 and r and l initially we charge q and we close the switch so current go through okay suppose this is v find the current and the maximum current when maximum current happen okay so the initially q means initial voltage is q over c c1 okay now the uh, the voltage between this is ri and this one is going to be L D I over D T. The this the voltage is V two say right okay so we can say V minus V two is the remaining voltage so ri plus l di dt but the voltage this v2 is actually um relationship is v2 is uh, dv2 dt c equals i and same i is going to be the c2 c1 dv dt dt okay so when we put them together the we take a derivative of this equation first so dv dt minus dv2 dt equals r di dt plus l d square i dt square so the um, this is i over c2 uh, c1 and this one is i over c2 right so we have an equation of, for i the we divide by l across we have a linear equation di dt plus um, c1 minus c2 i over l equals zero so this is a uh, oscillation with damping right if you remember equation the x plus 2 lambda x plus n square x equals 0 that's the oscillation with stamping and so here lambda equals 2L and n is going to be um, C1 plus C2 Oh uh, no, C1, C2, C2 minus C1 and L square root. Uh, wait a minute, this uh, sign is wrong, right? The I is going into this, 
So this is going to be negative here in front of C2. So it's plus. So this is going to be plus. Okay. So the damping oscillation the condition is lambda square and square is zero is no oscillation it's attenuation mode so since this guy equals c2 plus c1 c1 c2 l we put the L in front and the 4. So here you go, we got a condition. This condition. So this is the condition for attenuation. Okay, so quickly check, uh, make sure the I is going to be AT plus B and e to the minus lambda t that's going to be the solution to this differential equation okay now i is a zero when you turn on the switch at the t equals zero so b equals zero so it's going to be a t minus lambda t the way it's going to be maximum the it's going to be a 1 minus lambda t uh, equals 0 so t equals 1 over lambda lambda is here so it's going to be 2l over r so this is the time that the current become maximum right okay now what is a maximum current um, we need to determine a right so okay so here's a little understanding on circuit when you turn on the switch time is zero right the capacitance voltage across is zero the ri the current is zero so this voltage is zero so entire voltage happen across this inductor and that's a characteristic of inductor when you suddenly turn on it's create huge voltage here and that's voltage is going to be initial voltage okay so ld i d t which is this guy when t is zero it's going to be a so l d i d t is going to be a which is v zero uh, wait a minute q over c1 q over c1 so equation for current is going to be Q over C1 T minus lambda T so now we know when T equals 1 over lambda uh, I will be Q over C1 and T 1 over lambda is 2L over R and T lambda T uh, this t is one over lambda, so it's go to, go to, uh, going to be negative one. So e will be here. Okay. So what happened is uh, this attenuation is like current and time. It goes up and goes zero and this is the maximum t equals to l over r and the maximum value is this guy okay i hope 
you enjoyed this video and please check other videos. If you like, subscribe.